This is our assignment for programming language and design concepts. Our main goal of this assignment is to focus the attention to the three popular languages, Fortran, C Sharp and Java. First of all, we will discuss about the history of Fortran. Fortran was the first high-level language developed by a team of programmers at IBM led by John Bakers. Fortran stands for Formula Translation. It was machine independent and was popular among scientists and engineers. Fortran was standardized for several times. Fortran 2 appeared in 1958. The main enhancement was to support procedural programming by allowing user written subroutines and functions which return values with parameters passed by reference. In here, the if statement had the following format line number if this expression is negative line number if this numeric expression is zero line number if this numeric expression is positive value Fortran 3 was made it possible to use the assembly language codes right in the middle of a Fortran code but this was never released to the public. Fortran 4 was next released and it added the if then concept with the logical operators and or equal not equal and greater than. Fortran was next standardized in 1966. This included the go to statements. It also included main program, subroutines and functions. Fortran was next standardized in 1977. This contained the do loop extensions including parameter expression, negative increment and zero trip counts. It also contained the block if, end if statements with optional else and else if clauses to provide improved language support for structural programming. In this version the main programs terminate without a stop statement unlike in the previous versions. Although Fortran 77 contained lots of additional features there are some drawbacks too. Lack of keywords is one of them. For example if was not considered as a keyword which increased the possibility of programmers making mistakes. Another drawback is the name of a variable could contain only six characters. This decreased the understandability of a program. In Fortran 77, blanks were ignored. Lack of explicit recursion is another major drawback in Fortran 77. It does not support recursion, which is a very useful mathematical technique. Another problem was dynamic lack of dynamic storage. Fortran 77 allows only static storage. This means the programmers must declare the arrays big enough for any future problem size which is an awkward and a very unattractive restriction. In Fortran 77 global data is only accessible via open to abuse common block. This rule which applies to common block are very lax and user could do any unauthorized actions. Fortran was next standardized in 1991. This contained the modern control structures such as case statements and do while keywords. Fortran 90 uses dynamic memory allocation which allows the programmers to define the value of an array by listing its items between two special delimiters. Fortran 90 also contains a powerful array notation. Use of dynamic array will decrease the memory requirement of a program and simplify the source code of a program since one does not have to use the common block. Modules is another important feature added to Fortran 90. This can be used for global definitions and can be used to provide functionality whose internal details are hidden from the user. 
Now let us move on to discuss about the language C sharp. C sharp is a language developed by Anders Hertzberg. It is a simple, modern and an object oriented programming language. C sharp supports two kinds of types. They are value types and referent type. Value type includes simple types such as float, integer, etc. Whereas reference type includes the array types and class types. This language supports for software engineering principle such as strong type checking, array bound checking and automatic garbage collection. C sharp is suitable for writing both hosted and embedded systems. The first version to come was version 1.0 as expected. This addressed a lot of issues that were faced by the programmers at that time. But as the time moved, the developers required more advanced features from the language. Thus came the C-sharp version 1.2 with some enhanced features. In the year 2006, the version 2.0 was released to the market. This addressed few additional features such as anonymous method and partial types. In the year 2007, the version 3.0 hit the market with major changes. This had the feature like auto-implemented property, expression method, lambda expression, query expression and expression tree. The language C-sharp has been going through many stages of evaluations and currently C-sharp version 4.0 is in the market and C-sharp 5.0 is said to be released in future. Finally, we will move on to the language Java. Java is a programming language originally developed by James Gosling in 1995 at Sun Microsystems. Java applications are typically compiled to the bytecode that can run on any Java virtual machine regardless of the computer architecture. It was designed to solve the problem of connecting many household machines together. But this project failed as no one wanted to use it. It was redesigned to work with the cable TV but again this project too failed since the cable companies decided to choose a compiling system. When the World Wide Web became popular, Sun realized that Java was the perfect programming language for the web. Java version 1.0 was the first version released. Java version 1.1 added the important changes to user interface management and many other new classes. In version 1.2, Sun's JVM was equipped with a JIT compiler for the first time. Java version 1.3 included the hotspot virtual machine which enhanced the performance. In version 1.4, it contained the assert keyword and the abstract method was also defined. Java version 5.0 had improved features of multithreading and metadata. This table gives us a brief description of the three languages. Fortran was simple, independent and portable. It is widely used to perform complex arithmetic operations. Its efficiency is Force. C sharp is also a simple language but it has relatively less keywords. It is an object oriented programming language and it has the strong type checking feature. Java is a purely object oriented programming language. It is simple and its performance is high. It is robust and secure. We will now 
compare the two languages C sharp and Fortran in detail. Fortran introduced the, the operative precedence which is even used today. With, uh, with Fortran you can perform complex mathematical functions. C sharp has more data types than Fortran. With C sharp you may perform complex tasks. In Fortran, the variable length must be less than 6 characters, but in C-sharp there is no fixed length for variables. Fortran had just a little keywords, but C-sharp had more keywords than Fortran. In Fortran, there were no indentation. C-sharp has indentation. In Fortran, there were many forms of go-to statements. S but C sharp used more control structures such as for, while, do while loops. In Fortran, the programmer needed to specify the dimension of an array, but in C sharp, there were no such thing. In C sharp, in Fortran, the maximum dimension was three, but in C sharp, there were no fixed size for arrays. Fortran ignores the blanks but C sharp considers the banks. Fortran use pass by reference in parameter passing whereas C sharp use pass by value and pass by reference. In Fortran it uses dynamic scoping where it has a weak type checking. In C sharp it uses static scoping and so it had strong type checking. Fortran used the common block structure where you need to define all the methods and the variables wherever you use it. But in C-sharp the subclasses may use the methods defined in its superclasses. C-sharp had the operator overloading which means using one symbol for more than one operation. When it comes to comparing the two languages C-sharp and Java both languages uses a garbage collection as a means of reclaim memory resources rather than explicit deallocation of memory. Both languages allow automatic boxing and unboxing to translate primitive data to their object forms. C# -sharp has more primitive types than Java because it supports unsigned as well as signed integer types and a decimal type for decimal floating point calculations. Only Java offers a data type for arbitrary precision decimal point calculations and only C sharp offers a type for working with complex numbers. Type integration is supported only by the language C sharp. This is done through custom operator overloading and custom type conversions. C sharp implements object oriented method pointers in the form of delegates. A delegate is a special type which can capture a type safe reference method. Java does not have a language level construct like the C sharp's delegate. Methods in C sharp are non virtual by default and have to be declared virtually explicitly if required. But in Java all non-static non-private methods are virtual. Virtuality guarantees that the most recent override for the method will always be ca called. C sharp has the operator overloading problem but Java does not include operator overloading in order to keep the language simple. With this comparison we will conclude our presentation. These are group members DIT09 M21458 ELAC Lekamgi DIT09 M41781 KMTNP Bandara DIT09 M41848 PAIS Pereira DIT 09Z20327 LMGT Samira DIT 09C40 
ज़ीरो ज़ेवन सिक्स टू एस ए स्टेफान थैंक यू